You guys are going to be developing a pitch for a potential film, game, animation, whatever. They're super excited to kind of show off what the end goal will be. The scariest thing in the world is, to an artist, to a concept artist, is a white piece of paper. A lot of the individuals are never worked in a studio. Get thrown in with eight people who you don't know at all who they are, where they're from, what do they do. Put them in an environment where they have to think of it, something quick, and make it work. It was interesting. The Knights were also worried whether they were like, am I going to be the art director on this thing? And I'm like, the less you do, the more successful you are. I'm not drawing for you. <laughs> we really want to make sure that we're somewhat hands off. We want them to, to really drive uh, the experience so that these guys can actually collaborate. Maybe everybody write their name down. You know, you sign yourself a task and this is what you're going to follow through for the, the rest of the project. It was really difficult. None of us want to talk uh, to each other because we're all really shy about our own projects and our own ideas. Um, Sometimes like the language doesn't come across. So it might be good to continue on to going yeah. through and kind of identifying roles that you have. Are we making like an exploration game? Or? Sometimes things can be a little bit tough um, but really it's just an exercise collaborating seeing how far you can get to a to an end goal in such a constrained period of time. It's kind of hard to start on a white canvas, right? So everybody kind of went around the room and, and kind of came to a consensus. Maybe our game has two walls, the colorful one and the dark one, and they switch or something. Gravity changes or something like that. Something that the other knows in the other world yeah. can resolve yeah, something that is happening yeah. in his own world. And a white side uh, upwards and a black side downwards or something like that. Does everyone on the team currently know the goals really, really clearly? Moby told us to gather references because we're only as good as our references. But I think we should make like a big difference between the words so they're like yeah, super yeah, yeah. visible. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm really just impressed at like, you know, the, the character artist just started, you know, and, and then the, we have, a, I think it's two or three environment guys. I mean, they're just, they're all tasking it perfectly. Once we start getting the reference out, we noticed that we all had a, a similar language in the games we liked, and that was our starting point. We had a lot of people that, you know, wanted to go more realistic, and, and there was the stylized, the cartoony, and, but we kind of all fused it together. Um, so we're not going super realistic. It's a, a stylized side scroller, yeah. working on is building out a really cool side scroller and they're really moving fast. It's been really, really exciting. We're making a prototype of a game where we play as two sisters which are mirroring each other in a separate world. They can never meet until they solve a series of puzzles and they are helping each other so if one from above cannot do something, the one from below will help, help her solve the puzzle. I can see the anxiousness in them. They, they really want to make it uh, final product in a sense um, <laughs> and they're all perfectionists in one way or another so I, I think they're gonna even be coming in a little bit later and, and putting in a little bit extra time so that they can they can really have a you know a nice wrapped up package it's just in this uh, half of the element is one way the other half is the other and in this you only do like one element at the same time and just flip it so. I feel like the underdog in my team because uh, I have a um, background with more children illustration and I haven't worked in the industry before so I prefer to let the team do like the every work, I guess. And I try to uh, help everyone around, like seeing what everyone is thinking so we're all in the same page. She tells us when we were kind of getting a bit too much into it. She's like, stop, stop, stop. Okay, we have to now meet. You have to tell us uh, what you did. And she's uh, kind of making sure that we are on time with everything. It's been really good to have someone who's involved in both the technical side of things, the design side of things, but also kind of being there to facilitate and help other people. You don't understand the importance until you don't have that role. So I think the team's really fortunate to have somebody who's interested in doing that and just it kind of just came naturally. You can just add pieces to this and then you can not unify them. Under the sub tool, if you do that, 
you can split them based off of your masking or the groups or whatever. Yeah? Yeah. Cool. So you go ahead and make your own. And uh, if you need any help, let me know. Okay. Thank you. They always say it's not about the destination, it's about the journey. Um, I'm sure they're gonna present and create something really nice, but I really hope they learn and they get to uh, experience a bunch of new things. working on the, the bases for them, right? They were the ones that initially uh, started off with their, their arms folded and very serious. And now a few days later on, everybody's uh, pitching together a lot of camaraderie. They're letting their guards down. You can take that same filter, that render filter, you can apply that as a mask, and you can run a bunch of curves on top of it, and then you can modulate it. So you don't have to really do a ton of painting. My role is 3D assets, both modeling and rendering. It's a collaboration between me and two other people, Yosu and Yuri. Our stuff is like different variations of trees, uh, ruins, rocks, that kind of stuff. We're both 2D, uh, so that's why we kind of made a mini team together, because uh, she's doing environments and I'm working on characters. So we kind of need to be close together, so uh, if one of us makes characters, she makes sure that it will fit the environment and so on. We got inspiration for the, from the 2D guys and we were able to pass our stuff on to like our video guy Martin who was like putting it, putting it all together. Just, I don't know, it felt kind of natural. Everybody's important in the group and nobody is left behind actually. Uh, you can get some texturing effects and stuff going, so yeah. And you just want to make that brush really big. Yeah, see? Cool. Yeah, I just want to get some variation in the color before going to export. It's really easy to teach people new things when they want to learn and they're excited about it. They are kind of the kind spirits that are floating behind our shoulders and it's like David kind of helps with technical problems because he's the 3D person so whenever guys in 3D run into something that they cannot solve he would help them and Moby is kind of more like he comes and he asks if we thought about this, maybe if we thought about that. He gives us some pointers. He never says just do this. Only when something is, uh, you know, a blocker do we come in and, and, and try to uh, facilitate. So we're more acting as just facilitation. But on the other hand, he also says, okay, th those colors are good, those colors are working, this is, this is how it should look like, and it's a good job. The underneath portion? Yes, we have a base, uh, okay. and I have to do the same. Oh, cut it out? Yeah. Okay. 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 Layers. Great. We great, great, locked great. some things, and now we're working on them, so we are just polishing, I guess, right now, putting elements together, because assets are finally uh, getting ready. And we're also trying to make it a bit more interesting, so add some little asset here, some animation there, some effects to make it more shiny. <laughs> I'm actually really excited to see, you know, the finishing touches. Uh, today they really got through and they um, put the game in pretty much almost an alpha phase. Uh, so a lot of the concepts are in there, a lot of the early arts in there, um, and I think they'll be pretty, pretty in a good, uh, good space to get the game ready to go. I think that we decided on naming our game Mirror Twins, and uh, then Martin made the logo. Martin, who is an animator, but he also made uh, cool graphics for our project. They've done a great job. They've actually just blown it right out of the water. Um, I think everyone, all the professionals who have been watching all the teams develop stuff, have been just blown away by what they've done. We're obviously stressed for time because the sands of time always go faster towards the end. You want to be careful with adding in too much work at this stage. You need to kind of at this point take what you guys have and figure yeah. out a way to organize. Yeah, it's totally different to, uh, to have a game about two sisters or a game about two different personalities of one person, right? Why? Why are they separate? There was a little bit of a, a push and pull at, at one point uh, when it was th talked about like what the actual storyline was for, for the character. Uh, okay, so there are two. Uh, so there are two. Yeah. So each one of them is equally important. Yes. Okay. We're gonna make it on time. It's we'll be working today, I believe. What's gonna happen is they're gonna come over and they're gonna go explain your product to us. Okay. What were you guys trying to create? What was what was the theme? The theme was two worlds, basically. Yeah. When one personality has a problem, the other one is the one that will solve the puzzle. It's basically one of the identities is more physical, like the upper one, and the other was more magical. I love it. I, I, I get it, it's clear. You get the mirror, you get it's in the name, you get the gameplay. 
I would love for an indicator so that you know what's happening, so that you show the gameplay a little bit more. But overall, you guys are onto uh, something that's really, really beautiful. It's very cool. By the end of this, you have a small segment of a final product. You know, you could say, "Here's an example of what we're doing." If you give us more money, we can make the whole thing. We can make the whole thing. You know, that's it. You get get back to work. That's awesome. We got surprisingly positive feedback. So. I think they've just done a, a fantastic job. I'm pretty much surprised about what we did in such a short time, and I'm quite happy. Yes. We're at a place right now where you could drop pencils. But we have enough time now to actually have a, a deliverable that's going to be nicely polished. So we're going to actually have a, you know, we're going to have an animatic, our team logo. We just want it to be a very nice, enjoyable, uh, speak for itself type of uh, proposal to uh, yeah, our hypothetical yeah. people that we're pitching to. I'm building a puzzle where like one character is solving the puzzle to help the other advance. It should be in the game in the like nearest hour or so. It's not a lot of time to get this done. I'm working on our environment right now and Bobna is working on illustration. It will be for a poster. It's one of the last pieces for promotion of our project. It's kind of what's expected now of developers. You know, you can't just be focused on the art aspect of it. You need to be focused on the fact that this is a product and this is going to go out to people. And how does it go out to people? And what does it say about the, you know, the story and the message you're trying to communicate? So, thinking about that as kind of like a holistic um, product, is in like just a holistic development path, is really really smart. I'm doing some props for the games, some mushroom sets, so we can spread around the map. We're learning a lot and we're developing a project, so it's really nice. We still gotta package the whole thing up, but for the most part, it's been going pretty well, so I'm glad that it was so. Oh. Should I not start? <laughs> I was really scared and afraid on the first hours. Darius said a good sentence before. It was I more. Said <laughs> I'm um, saying uh, just like a wander lost in the woods and yeah. three or in the dark or in the dark. Yeah. yeah. So Good. Again. I think you reused. It's like we started slow. We were like just like shy, not saying yeah. anything, and then we're just talking poetry, like slam a sentence. <laughs> I think we all fell in love with the project, and that really yeah. helps. Yeah. yeah. And then this uh, like the reborns, whatever. Three dots, three dots, three dots. This is just not no done. There's a lot. Good. Done. Done. done, done back. Back. Yes. <laughs> I think that we did a great teamwork and that's why this game came like it, it came. It, it looks really nice. Our story is about Wanderer lost in the dark. When she thinks all hope is lost, a new door opens for her. Because not all who wander are lost. Today was kind of magical. I think the team did a fantastic job. The game is great, it's really smart. Um, the part I was most excited about was the actual process. The end product is, was fantastic, but the whole journey in between that was really just amazing. It totally blew everybody's minds away. It, 
exceeded everyone's expectations. And it's something that they could take and make very popular. We were talking after the pitch yeah, that sure. this could be a good idea for a real game. We're looking for people to help us take this idea further. Okay, thank you so much. That's great. Next team!